Y'all, welcome to Ready to Tape. And today we're going to be talking about Patrick Graham multiple scheme system on the defense side of the ball. Now, there was one thing that I noticed that I wanted to tell you guys, and this is Patrick Graham does this twice as much than Gus Bradley did. And I'm going to let you guys know in this episode, also talk about just the schemes in general. Don't forget to hit that like button, make a play, and hit that subscribe button if y'all new here and want to see more Raiders content. And check our Redemption brand if y'all want to get a cap like this or a dope t-shirt. Let me know what it is, man. And this week's episode, Raiders Review, let's get it in. So, welcome to Raiders Review, welcome to Ready to Take, and we're going to talk about Patrick Grant's multiple scheme system. There's different instances to where he will run a cover three like Gus Bradley did. You watch the game to where they were playing the Washington Commanders last year, and he came out in a cover three. It was cover three, cover three, basically the entire first series, the first couple series he was running a cover three. But then you go on to watch him play against the Chargers, and when he plays the Chargers, he chooses to run a cover two. Now, it doesn't mean he runs that same scheme every single series throughout the game because the next series he may go to a cover three again or he may change to a man coverage but something creative he does is is he'll be in a cover two and he'll run that cover two for a couple plays and then he'll change it to a cover six but continue to show that cover two or he'll drop into a cover four. So that's something I definitely like to see. It's a little bit more creativity. And then also he'll run a man coverage out of that. So he'll basically be in a cover two shell running multiple different defenses, which I don't mind and I like to see a lot. But it can be risky at times because if you're playing off, if you're playing in that shell and you're off, then you're giving up a lot of stuff underneath. And I've seen that against the Chargers. But there's something that I wanted to add that he did do twice as much than Gus Bradley did. As we know, Gus Bradley ran the cover three all the time and he didn't blitz as much. So with that being said, Gus Bradley only blitzed 85 times last year. That was the least amount of blitzing in the entire league. The next lowest was 106. So we were the only team in the entire league to blitz less than 100 times less than 90 as well and the most blitz done in the league was by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers which was over 300 plays of blitzing you look at Patrick Graham's defense at least the last three years he blitzed around 170 times the last three years he's been a defensive coordinator that's twice as much as we blitzed last year now is that due to the fact that he has to be more creative because he doesn't have pass rushers such as Max Crosby and Chandler Jones on this team I don't think that's really so much what it is I think it's more just has to do with the way his defense is ran I think we may see some things to where you wouldn't see Max Crosby drop back in coverage because he's better at being a pass rusher which you would want him to do than to have a defensive end drop back which some creative things he would do but now that he does have better players I would say and I, I'm not knocking the Giants but we do have better pass rushers let's be honest they don't have a Max Crosby they don't have a Chandler Jones so maybe we'll see it go down a little bit or maybe it'll stay the same but I think it'll stay the same and we'll just continue to see creativity every game we go out and play so for instance Patrick Graham went and played against the commanders and he would come out and he would play a cover three and then show some instances that he would run a man blitz but then you go down a couple of weeks and you watch him play against the Chargers and Justin Herbert and he comes out showing a cover two shell. So he definitely likes to run different types of plays, different types of schemes based on every single every single game and based on the players that he does have. Now, he does run a 3-4. Some people say it doesn't matter, and then you'll even see him say, it doesn't really matter because most of the time we're playing out of the nickel because you see some of the formations he runs, and you'll see it looks like a 5-2. So if you're running a 5-2, that's completely different. That has nothing to do with the 4-3 or a 3-4. So it kind of does stand when he does say, oh, it doesn't matter. But at the same time, he's just running whatever he wants and just putting the players in position. And I do like that about him. So it definitely does add that creativity. It does add ingenuity. And we should be seeing a new defense, a new life in this defense for the Las Vegas Raiders in 2022. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about Patrick Graham's new scheme. I will be dropping a film study of Patrick Graham's and the defense, different just looks that he gives um, different teams week by week. And just to show you guys what I'm talking about, don't forget he does blitz twice as much. Let me know what you guys think about blitzing twice as much. Does it matter to you? Are you guys excited about seeing more blitzing from the Raiders? Because we haven't had a defense that was ranked above uh, better than 20th i want to say over almost 15 years almost 15 years or so so let me know down in the comments what you guys think also don't forget to check out redemption brand if y'all want to get a hat like this or a dope ass t-shirt you know what it is man until next time rate the tape